Welcome to Ketchikan Public Library's DIY with Gail. I'm Gail, and welcome to my little area. We're going to make Harry Potter wands today. September is usually the library's Geek Fest month, and on our first Geek Fest, we made Harry Potter wands and gave them away at our Geek Fest. I want to show you how to make simple Harry Potter wands the Gail way. We're going to be using glue gun, quarter-inch dowels, or you could use chopsticks. Today I'm going to use the dowels. These are several that I have made, so you can get a peek. I like the brown look. I like it to look like it just came off of a tree or something. I don't know. Some of them I painted the a dowel or um, chopstick before I used the hot glue on them. This one I painted and I haven't um, done anything but put glue over the top of it and I kind of liked it like that too. I don't know why. This one, depending on who you're making them for, this one has a bead on the top and I am sure eventually that little bead will come off. You can see that I've used little dots with my glue or just smeared it on and it doesn't seem to matter if you miss. Personally, I think it looks more fun with it um, gappy and and whatnot. I made my handle smooth and we'll start there. So with the handle you're going to be really piling it on and so as you're squirting it on we're going to have to turn and we'll be turning to keep the glue on the stick. Okay this is hot glue so please, please be very careful. It drips really, really quickly, so keep moving it. And then as it stops moving, add more. Now I'm using the very hot glue gun, and the reason I chose it for my handle is because I can really goop it on, as long as I keep moving. Okay, and you have to decide how far down you want your handle, of course. And I recommend, if you're going to do several of these, do your handles and then stand them somewhere to dry um, after they quit moving. Once they, if they're still moving, it will go down the handle and you'll end up with this thin thing. So keep an eye on it. As I said, the glue moves until it's cool. And see, I'm getting a buildup back here, which is what I want on my end, okay? And that's why I turned it over. I would like a little bit of a buildup right here. Okay, I'm going to flip it over now because it's getting a drip there and I don't want it to drip off, okay? There it is. Now I can add more to this because I still have stick hanging out. And if you have a glue gun that uh, you don't mind the point getting all messy, I use my glue gun point to move and shift the glue. I don't care that it gets all gooey and yucky, um, but moving it with the, the hot point really does help. And if you end up with something on there dried that, that is a little bigger than what you like, take it and rub it across it. It actually will take out lumps and bumps, okay? All right, so once you have your handle on there, just go down the shaft. Oops, I squirted it on the table. Just go down the shaft. Like I said, you do not have to fill it in. All you have to do is make it kind of messy and the messier the better in my opinion I think it, it looks more realistic I will say that I got to dress up as Ollivander when we gave these out and oh my gosh it was so fun and it wasn't just seeing the kids faces you should have seen the adults they were just as tickled to get their Harry Potter wands it was awesome. All right, so I've got it pretty well covered. And as it dries, you can look at it and say, mm. and I will tell you, the hotter your glue, the less lumpy and bumpy. 
So I even go in and turn off my glue gun every once in a while just to let it cool down a little bit. Once you've gotten your stick slightly dried, I'm gonna put this one down and we're gonna move on to this one, which is nice and dry and ready for some paint, okay? And with the paint, like I said, I really do like the um, El Natural look, the, the wood look. Sorry about that, I didn't have my paint all the way open. And this one happens to be Nutmeg by Apple Barrel. You can get them at Walmart. And then just take and paint. And to get down in there, you're gonna to have to push in a little bit because you want to get all the way down in those little holes and stuff that you've left. And as you see, it looks like it was carved out of a little branch. doesn't take long if you wanted to put some sprinkly glitter or something on here do it while it's wet the glue is or not the glue excuse me the paint is wet as I said I like this part of the wand to be brown I think it looks good and you can decide if you want to make your handle another color in my case brown it's going to be because I do really like the natural look. I will say that some of my most popular ones um, at Geek Fest were actually painted red. I painted the, um, the little dowel red, and then I did the, the glue on it, and then I painted the glue black. It looked amazing, and as you can see, I don't have any of those left. They went like hotcakes. And this is all there is to it. If you are using them for children, make sure that if you used a, um, a, I forgot the name of it, um, chopstick, um, that you don't have it pointed. All of these were done uh, with the, the stick here, the, the dowels, even a smaller one. And look, this one I just went around and around and around. And I just thought they were really neat. And seeing we're getting close to the Halloween season, I thought maybe we'd have some of those Harry Potter diehards out there. So have fun, use your glue gun, and have a great day. Mask on, enjoy, and take care.